We have re-found our mottled, fr shovel-nosed frog. He was sitting in the corner of the tent. We are going to release him shortly, and there he is. He's rather good at jumping, so I'm just going to be a little bit careful about how I show him to you. And you can see why he's called a shovel-nosed frog there. He's got a shoveled nose. And what he does... Oh, what he does, let's, let's let him jump out. Come on, out you go. What he does is he burrows into the ground with the, using his snout. And you can see why he's called mottled. It's because he's got a mottled skin. Now, you will sometimes be told that it's not a great idea to handle frogs because the oils on our skin um, can affect their very sensitive skins. I haven't found that to be the case with the frogs out here, and I think you'll find that, um, you know, some of the oils he picked up wandering about the tent were probably more, or potentially more damaging to his skin. I don't think he's in any danger from the oils on my skin, and I'm just going to put him outside. He's going to probably live in a little burrow, and this is where... I just love frogs, you see, and we so seldom find them anymore. He's now immediately rendered almost invisible. And there we are. And soon he will disappear off and dig himself a little hole and go and live in it. Isn't he cool? This is only the second frog that I've seen this year outside the tent. The other one was a... What was it again? I remember now. It was one of the sand frogs. I don't remember any of them. It may well have been a bushveld rain frog as well. But that there is the mottled shovel-nosed frog. Now, Rebecca, in the final control, would like to know if we get bubbling casinas here. I suspect because they remind her, perhaps, of uh, holidays where those those frogs are the kind of only things that you can hear often around water holes uh, and game reserves. Yes, we do, Rebecca. We find a bubbling casino here, not in great... Uh, not in great uh, profusion, but they're around some of the pans and ponds, indeed. And uh, Rebecca only remembers that name, apparently, because uh, it sounds like casino. She's not a gambler, I don't think. <laughs> now, with marvellous news, Jamie Patterson has found, I hope, what was calling the other side of quarantine clearings. <laughs>